Hello and welcome to another episode of Talks with Arun on Health and Wellness. Here we have Arun with us to answer our questions around some of the most pressing health issues we currently face. First of all, Arun, thank you for being here. And today's question is something that is very important. Many people ask it. And from my perspective, with 30 years of experience in yoga and wellness behind you, and the fact that you run so many courses and so many centers, who better than you to answer this question? And it is, what exactly is yoga and how to start in it, how to begin it? Well, uh, this is a simple question and also a question that is uh, asked every day of me. And uh, the way to look at it is that yoga is, uh, in today's world, the best way to improve your health. And if you want a wider idea of what is yoga, then uh, it is also a great way to reduce stress in your daily life and some other, of course, important functions like improving your stamina, improving your energy levels, improving your flexibility. If you're playing any sports, then uh, yoga is a very good uh, complementary practice to help you improve in your sports. It's also very good to improve your concentration levels and your productivity, whether you're a student or you're a working professional or a businessman. Uh, so that is what yoga is in just simple practical terms. You practice yoga and uh, you get better at whatever you're doing because of uh, an improvement in uh, your output. How to start? Well, uh, just come to one of uh, our uh, yoga classes. The best way would be to begin with a group class. Immediately I get the question, uh, but I've never done yoga before. Um, that is all right. You start somewhere and uh, for you that would be day one. I had a day one 30 years ago and uh, you will have your day one today. That's all there is. And uh, when you start a class and we usually have a trial class, People come back to me and say, oh my God, I was not able to do anything in the class. And then I said, no, no, that's not actually accurate. Uh, because uh, a yoga class has a lot of relaxation. And 50% of the class was actually lying down and doing nothing. So we made you do nothing for half the time. And the other half time, maybe you could not do many of the practices as suggested. But that is always happens on day one. And then there is a day two and then there is a day three. And soon you will start to pick up yoga the way it has to be done. We have a beginner's course, which if you attend, we break down the Shivananda class into its smaller components. And you can easily understand the theory behind why we are doing what we are doing and how to get the maximum benefits from practicing yoga with us. Um, nothing comes in the first day or the first week or the first month, but you'll start seeing the results straight away. Yoga is so quick that even in the first class, you will start feeling extremely good. In the second class, you will feel good. In the first week, you will really feel much better than you've felt in years. That is more important than what you achieve in the first class or the first week. So when you come to a class, just be there for some time and then slowly the practices will become more and more familiar to you. In the Shivananda program, what is very good is that the class is static. We don't change anything from day to day or from person to person. So what you practice on the first day is what you'll be practicing in the first week and the first month and the first year. There is nothing to change. It's like learning the basics of a song. You'll never forget it and you don't have to relearn it. All the components are the same. The only thing that will happen is that you will start becoming more and more familiar with the practices. You'll go deeper into the practices and you'll start to enjoy each of those practices more and more for the value that they're giving you. So you make a beginning any day. I welcome you to try any class. It doesn't matter what age you are, what ability you have. You've never done any exercise also in your life before. Never mind. Yoga will take care of you. Yoga has taken care of people for 5,000 years. And of course, yoga is there for you uh, in this modern day and modern age. Let's make a beginning. Welcome.
So that concludes this episode of Talks with Arun on Health and Wellness. I hope you found this conversation useful on your path to wellness. If you like this video, press the like button and don't forget to share it with your friends and family members. If you have additional queries, post them in the comment box and we'll be more than happy to include those in our future episodes. Till then, stay well. Namaste.